the Western Conference Finals ramps up in Game 3. It's going to be the New Orleans Hornets up against the Phoenix Suns. Coming up... in Phoenix, the crowd is going crazy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this Game 3 of the playoffs. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg, and welcome to 2K Sports and the NBA. Take a look at the Suns in this deciding game. The question is, can they make the most of their hard-won home court advantage to, to win the series? And Kevin, that's why you get home court advantage for a deciding game to be played on your home floor. That's what you work so hard for. And then it always comes down to whether or not you can play well enough to advance in a deciding game on your home floor. And the starting lineup for the Hornets. Right side, Flynn. Leads him with the pass. Cohen, no good. And New Orleans will take it the other way. They need to bounce back from Wednesday's loss. I didn't think we saw a real strong outing defensively from them, Kevin. And very few teams can get away with winning maybe a handful of games, if that, relying solely on their offense. Now let's go over to Doris Burke, who had a chance to talk with head coach Byron Scott. When I asked him what they're looking to do on the offensive end, he said, well, I'll tell you what we can afford to do. We can't let their shot blockers dictate the outcome because they're always a danger with these guys. Ball movement, he said, is going to be a huge key for them as the game progresses, guys. Thank you, Doris. It's really a mindset, Kevin. You want to get into your defensive groove and find a way to stay there for the full game. Flynn misses. Once he gets it inside, Kevin, he's really a good finisher. That's a good effort defensively to force the miss. Here's Gill. And he gets the bucket. Foul is called. One free throw for him. Just put the ball in his hands, Kevin, and watch him go to work. He's going to make something good happen. Here's Flynn. 209 left in the first. The shot is off, and New Orleans will take it the other way. Here's Black. Gill shuts it down. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. Here's Flynn, and he hits the jump shot. Finally able to get one down after starting off missing their first three. That's definitely not the start they wanted. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. And that one misses. So both teams changing it up here. Good on the second free throw. Here's Smith. 125 left in the first quarter. Back to Lopez. Takes it up, and he slams it home. Here's the replay on the Sprite Slam King. Way to distribute the basketball. Tipped. And here are the Hornets now. Here's Gill. And again, no good by New Orleans. Jacks up the triple. Gill rips it down inside. And here's New Orleans now. Lawrence backs in. Here's Schmidt. Nails the turnaround jumper. Nice speed. That's the way to keep the ball moving. Sun still looking like they're getting going here. They trail by three. Behind the arc. And it's Smith missing. You know, with loose defense like that, you would expect him to knock it down most of the time. Gets the bucket. Six points for him. Excellent anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfectly. Pass to Lopez. Back to Smith. Lopez with the ball. Hits the 15-footer. Lopez has got his first two points. 
kicked it to the right guy at the right time. That's a good pass. Some great action here as the first quarter concludes. Hornets lead by three. They've dominated the glass early on, and that's always a good sign. Rebounding is an effort stat, and they've shown tremendous efforts. Close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And here are the Hornets now. It's a three-point game. On the court right now, the second quarter for the Hornets and Lewis. Poke loose from downtown. No good. And it's the Suns taking it the other way. Goes up. And there's the one-handed team. When he goes up, sometimes you think he might never come down. Well, it won't be the last time we see one of those slams from him. Brock, covered by Flynn. Here's Lawrence. And that one, no good to start him off on the night. New Orleans in the lead. Nice work on the low block as he gets that one to fall. Kevin, that first step of his is as quick as a hiccup. He gets to the rim almost at will. Huffman sets a pick. Off the pick, and it's Phoenix scoring again. He's got to close out on that mid-range jump shot. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Here's Lawrence, kept alive. Here's Timmerman, and he's able to score the bucket. Foul call by the official. So one free throw for him right here. And the Hornets making a change here. Nice job at the line. That one falls to pick up the end one. Here is Flynn. Six points for him. Takes it up. Flushes it in. Uh-oh. A little bit of a statement made there while he hung on the rim. That's one way to make sure the whole building knows exactly what you just did. Here's Evans. Goes up. Scooped up. Here's Black. Here's Timmerman. Takes it up. Offline and there. Ice cold. The Suns trailer. Outside Flynn. Great anticipation. He knew exactly where the ball was going and got a hand on it. Back to Evans. Black covered by Flynn. Got a piece of it. So it's Phoenix now. Trailing by two. No good. That would have tied it. Here's Timmerman. And the Hornets miss again. Good as it goes, and that's not going to go. And the first half is now in the books. Hornets ahead. It's HP at the half. I'm Damon Bruce, and welcome to the deciding game of these conference finals. Let's. That's it for us. We hope you enjoy the second half action. Now let's. And as the quarter begins, both teams have been trading blows like prize fight. It's a close ball game. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Here's Lawrence. Scooped up. And he lays that one up and in. Those floaters are difficult to hit, but he made it look easy right there. Here's Papadopoulos, and it's no good. 
Poor shot selection there, to say the least. Flynn is whistled for reaching in. That is his first foul of the game. First Suns on D. Four-point game. Here's Black. Buries the free-throw line jumper. And the Hornets lead by six. I actually think he made that shot a little harder than it needed to be. But he showed a nice touch to knock it down. The shot is off. The Hornets go the other way with the ball. From 18 feet away... Jenkins snatches it inside. He's got eight. Shoots. Cohen rips down the offensive rebound. Slumping a bit here to start the third. From the wing. Suns trail by six. Poked away. And it's Phoenix's ball. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Back to Flynn. The dump off. Here's Cohen. Connects from in close. What an acrobatic finish. I love the dunk. But you got to give it up for that kind of layup. Here's Black. Kept alive. Lawrence is called for a loose ball foul. That's his first foul. Both teams will make substitutions. Jenkins is guarded by Ewing. Down low. Throws it down. I think it's safe to say that that'll be the dunk of the night, Kevin. Who doesn't love to see that kind of finish? We all do. And it's the Hornets with the ball. The lead is two. Here's Gill. Jenkins rips down the defensive board. The shot, no good. And so this one is tightly contested as we end the third. 2K Sports, back in a moment here from the U.S. Airways Center. And now let's send it to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark of the game. Doris? Guys, when you look at the Hornets, the spark has been supplied by their swingman. It seems as though he's been involved in big play after big play in this one and has really ignited his team through the first three periods. We'll see how he closes this thing out, guys. Thank you, Doris. You know, Clark, give me your thoughts igniting his team much of the way. Well, just a man on a mission, Kevin. His goal is not to let his team lose if he can help it. Setting the floor for the Hornets. And Lewis. Fires top of the key. Scooped up. And yep, that falls, and the foul is called. We'll see him shoot one from the free throw line. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. This is a team that seems to be wavering a little bit here as far as their aggressiveness goes, especially when they build the lead. We're not seeing them get to the line as often this half, and I think that's part of the reason why. They've lost their edge a bit. The Hornets leading by three. Dillon is tagged with the reach. That's his first foul. And it's the Hornets with the ball. It's a three-point game. Here's Brock. Dylan rips it down. That's not something you'll see very often. Got the mid-range jumper he wanted, but off target. Jenkins. Lewis grabs the board. Kevin, he doesn't miss those layups often. Interior D made him think about that one, though. 
Here's Gill. Connects the jumper drops. Timeout called. The Suns. They're losing by five. 157 left to the fourth. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Yes, during that break, Coach Byron Scott had some words for his team. He told them, we can't quit now, guys. We're going to find a way to win this thing. Our fans are pulling for us. Our families are as well. We're going to make them proud. Let's go out there and show them exactly what we're made of. Both teams deciding to change it up. Foul as he went up, and he'll go to the line. Gets the first. That increases their lead to six. Gets them both, and it's a seven-point ball game. Touch free throws there. He drained them all to raise the lead. Here's Lucas. The shot is off. The Hornets go the other way with the ball. You can simply tell, Kevin. I mean, they want the ball more right now. Here's Gill. Kept alive. Here's Hendricks. They shoot again. It's blocked. He goes up again. And that is good. And the Hornets lead by nine. He's had an off game thus far, but his team has been able to pick up the slack and find a way to get it done here. So both teams making some changes here. And here are the Hornets now. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. 109 left in the game. Back to Flynn. Right side, Flynn. From deep. That's good. Why anyone would want to leave this guy alone deep is beyond me. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Less than one minute left. Flat covered by Flynn. And pushed through with two hands. Yeah, they're looking in pretty good shape right now unless they have a total collapse. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And I love the unselfish. It's a joy to watch. The fast break left the defense scrambling to react, and they couldn't get to him in time. Here are the Hornets with the ball, leading by five. And good as he jams that one in off the nice dish. He has almost supernatural bouncing ability. He can bounce right out of the building. <laughs> Only a handful of players have that kind of athleticism, Clark. And there's the intentional foul. Too little, too late. They may as well just let the clock run and save their energy for another day. Sinks the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. Perfect from the line, and it's a nine-point ball game. And that'll do it, Kevin. Those last free throws were the icing on the cake. Kevin, not much they can do right now. Time is not on their side. Bullseye! And it's the Hornets with the ball. Seven-point differential. Good on the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. Two for two, and it's a nine-point ball game. Here is Flynn. The three. Good. Flynn's got 19 points. Boy, there's been no answer for the three-point shot this half. They've dominated from behind the arc. Gets the first. That makes it a seven-point lead. Two shots. Perfect from the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. And the Suns call time. They trail by eight. Three seconds left to the fourth. Clark, what are your thoughts? They're going to talk strategy or perhaps what's on the dinner menu tonight. Because this one is really about over. They have no chance of winning this game. Off the inbound pass. Hendricks corrals the miss off the defensive glass. That's it. They've won the series. Just a tremendous feeling to take the Western Conference and now a trip to
to the final. Well, Clark, this is what they worked for, but I know for a lot of these guys, they are already thinking about what's coming up next. Yeah, it's tough when you want to celebrate, but the work. 